Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua. So today we'll be learning about Unit 8, Fist Management. So risk management, just think about the word risk. Risk is a probability. Um, it's something that has happened, perhaps. It may or may not happen. It's a probability, like the word, like the name itself so it can be something that is internal that happens inside your business or it comes from external that happens towards your business it can be damaging towards your business it can be in terms of a liability it can be an injury towards your employers or your customers it can be losses or in generally it can be something negative towards your business okay or towards your product or services so this is where risk management is really important because you are able to actually plan out what and how you can handle the risk that may or may not happen once you are able to identify this kind of stuff you are able to be more confident in your decision making process because you have that quality data because you are able to project what kind of risk that may or may not happen once you have that quality data you can make certain decisions with more confidence for example a budget you can determine certain budget certain budget without doing any guesswork you can rely doing certain budget based on certain data so here the importance of um, doing risk management the, the most important thing is it able to enhance your capability in going through certain circumstances okay and second thing is for example like i mentioned just now a risk can um, can be in the form of injury towards your employees or customers so if this happens your customers or employees can actually um, give any legal liability towards you but if you are able to prevent that from happening towards them you are able to prevent legal liability towards your business and you are able actually to protect your image of your business and also your brand and also you are able to control your cost resource conservation as well so here there are certain types of risks um, here um, mm -hmm. you, there are different types of risk um, perhaps one way of identifying risk you can use um, remember the six de bonos hats thinking hats um, you can use the black hat where you think negatively about your business or your idea or your product or your services you think negatively about things that may happen towards your business and then the second thing is your SWOT analysis remember strength weaknesses opportunities and threats mm -hmm. if you are able to identify your mm -hmm. threats here you can use it to identify the risk that may happen towards your business um, re remember when I mentioned threats in the SWOT analysis you can relate that to the past analysis political economy social and technology so these are the certain types of things that can be a risk towards your business something that's external that you can't control so if you are able to plan that out you are able to identify and have a certain plan towards it so the first step is identifying the risk like just now then you plan out you study and evaluate and analyze your risk what are the risks what level are your risks actually you can see whether certain risks can influence your business really badly but certain risks maybe perhaps it will affect your business in a lower level outcome okay lower level so here once you identify and um, analyze your risk you can able to create a plan towards certain risks every risk that you have identified so a different risk perhaps calls for different kind of plans okay um so here you can use your contingency plan contingency plan is something that a plan that you can use mm -hmm. for for risk management here you can use a mitigation plan which is a plan to reduce the effect of your risk like to reduce something negative 
uh, something negative towards your business that is mitigation plan the second one is the preventive plan preventive plan is you prevent the risk from happening so that is the two things that you can do for different types of risk so once you have that plan risk management if that risk may happen you, you will implement those plans that we have um, created just now you have designed towards each risk you implement the risk management then later on you need to understand whether your plan works or not you need to evaluate and you need to control what happens there you can evaluate to this to see um, perhaps your plan actually needs certain fixings certain improvements or perhaps your plan is very well planned out okay so you can think it that way negatively or positively so here you also need to be uh, keep on monitoring what happens in towards your plan um, also keep on monitoring what kind of other risks that may happen so risk management is a cycle of process you keep on identifying new risks that may happen uh, year by year because every year is different um, like I mentioned um, previously technology is dynamic it can be really um, can be a threat for certain businesses so you have to identify that in every year and see from time to time so not only technology but other things you can see what may or may not happen okay so that is all about risk management i'll see you guys again in the next video all right bye